So I got another question from one of you guys about how to deal with social anxiety. So very simple thing for me, anxiety is really about clearly what other people think of you and your fear around that. So normally a social anxiety, when, whether it's going into a room full of people or whether it's going to do something where you feel you'll be judged, it could be like doing these videos, could be anything. For me, I used to suffer from pretty bad social anxiety where I'd hate going into a room full of people. Uh, I really, like if I went to a party or something similar to that, I would hate that process of walking in, if it was a dinner, walking in where there were a group of people already situated and having to, you know, walk into the middle of that group of people and establish myself, I guess, because I felt as though as I walked in that room, everybody was always looking at me. Ironically now, I don't suffer that sort of social anxiety anymore, and it's taken a lot of work, but the bottom line of it, very, sim very simply, is to practice that what other people think of me is none of my business. So these days, through a lot of the work that I've done and because of the, the you know, what I do every day, clearly, I get to the point in my own confidence, my own humility and who I am as a decent human, that I understand that there's two things really going on. Number one, if I walk into a room full of people, the reality is the great majority of those people are so caught up in their own demons and insecurities and fears that they don't give a shit about me anyway. They don't give a rat's ass who I am or what I'm doing. They're not judging me. The real, the stark reality for them is they're more worried about themselves and how they're being perceived and keeping their mask intact so people see the, the identity or the side of them that they want them to see. Then they are worried about what I'm doing. People really don't give a shit about you. They're so caught up in their own stuff and their own fears and their own anxiety around the same interaction because we all have a level of that social anxiety or that social fear when it comes going into new groups of people. And the second part of it, really what they think is irrelevant. The only time that what other people think will trigger you or cause you grief or bring out a reaction in you is when you believe what they say. So if you're actually in a, in a place in your life where you're not that confident in yourself and who you are, if you have doubts about what sort of person you are, if you have any sort of fear around that perhaps what they're saying is true, then you will have some of that social anxiety and that fear. So the thing for you to work on is not worry about the social anxiety, not worry about that walking into groups of people, not worry about that being in a shopping centre where there's a lot of people and you have that fear about what people are thinking about you or judging you. It's about working on your own confidence and belief and self-worth and there's so many ways to do that. It is a skill, your self-worth, confidence, self-value is a skill like any other skill. So it's actually just about practising it. It's about going out in your life, getting in those situations more and more. So instead of avoiding them like we often do for things that we find difficult, get into them more and more be in those environments more often. Be in them and just sit in that fear and that anxiety and the nervousness of it. And once you go through it, come out the other end, you realize there's really nothing in it. The analogy I use for you is if you go bungee jumping, and I haven't been bungee jumping, but I would imagine, if you go bungee jumping and you stand on the edge of the platform and there's the fear of heights, you're terrified of heights, once you jump, then all of a sudden you realize the fear is baseless. If you were to go back and bungee jump a week later, I'm sure the fear's still there, but it will have dissipated in in the intensity to what it was the first time. So the more you go and actually live through that experience that challenges you and makes you nervous, the less power it will have, the less intensity it will have, and over time, it dissipates to the point where it doesn't exist. For me now, walking into a room full of people that I don't know still can make me nervous, but the great majority of time, I really don't mind. And often now, when I walk into rooms of people to present my workshops and whatever, I actually really enjoy it because to me it's again another challenge. So you would think that the amount of videos I do, the amount of presentations I do, the workshops I do, how raw I am with my demons, that I would be really confident 100% of the time, but nobody is. There's always a level of fear of an anxiety and there's always a level of nervousness to walk into a room full of humans, that's human nature. It's the fear of being shunned, it comes back to our limbic brain or our prehistoric brain, caveman brain, it's the fear of being judged harshly by that tribe, if you like, that group of people, and being shunned. And that very basic reaction from our caveman days, if you were shunned from that tribe of people, you died because you had no shelter, you had no protection, potentially no food, you needed a tribe of people to survive. So understand, number one, that the reaction is, an, is a Neanderthal caveman reaction from your limbic lizard brain. It's not a modern day reaction. It's a fear of being rejected from the tribe and dying. Secondly, understand that what other people think actually doesn't matter. It's none of your business. It's your own fears, doubts and insecurities that highlight the anxiety because you are scared people would judge you harshly like you do. Practice it over and over. 
new will find the difference will be amazing.